Hi loves and welcome back to my channel. It's Dr. Jack of all trades and yes, I have my natural hair out. If you'd like to see how I got this style, stay tuned. So I am starting off with freshly washed hair. I'm gonna be using the Tresemme um, heat protectant spray. I'm gonna also use the Kenra blow drying spray and the Design Essentials um, leave-in conditioner. So I'm just spraying the leave-in conditioner all over my hair and all the products will be listed in the description box. You guys, do you see that breakage right there in my temple? That is from those locks that I had. It, that hair was just entirely too heavy for my, uh, for my hair so I won't be doing those for a while I know this hair my hair will grow back so I'm not gonna worry too or stress too much about it I'm just gonna take care of it but anyway what I'm gonna do is start sectioning my hair I'm gonna add the um, heat protectant and the blow dry spray um, to each section comb it through I've already uh, washed and detangled my hair there is still a little bit of shedding not much just a little bit from um, uh, the detangling process but I use the pearl essence and the bio silk that I showed you in my TJ Maxx haul and so I'm just gonna blow dry my hair on uh, kind of a medium heat and I'm gonna use the uh, pull and stretch method to kind of blow dry my hair out um, and uh, yep yeah, that's how I'm gonna do that Once I get it sort of uh, dry a little bit, um, I'm going to use my Denman brush to kind of help straighten it a little bit because I don't want to use too much heat from the flat iron. I want to try to get it as straight as I possibly can with um, the blow dryer. And I do have 4C hair, so it's not going to get bone straight and I'm not going to even try to get it bone straight. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just going to keep doing this all over my head. Yep, and I'm just gonna keep on going. And guys, whew, this is hard work. And even though my hair is nowhere near as thick as it used to be when I was younger, like 30 years ago, and I was in my 20s and 30s, um, it is still um, a lot of work <laughs> to blow dry this hair. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep going, keep going. I like to leave my hair um, in these chunky plaits for a few minutes. I don't know if it really helps or not, but to me, I think it kind of helps stretch it just a little bit more. And you can really tell that um, it's not as thick, my hair is not as thick as it used to be. You know, as you get older, uh, your hair follicles don't produce as much hair, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna take me some vitamins and thicken it back up. So I'm gonna use my Sadu Professional Classic Flat Iron. 
um, that I ordered um, from Amazon, I think. I think I got it from Amazon. And I can't remember how much it costs, but I'll put it in the uh, description box. This will be my first time uh, straightening my hair in several months. I try to, I do it maybe twice a year, if that. Once like in the spring, like now, and then maybe again in the fall, winter time. And each time with the purpose of trimming my ends, so I can trim my ends twice um, a, uh, a year. I haven't always uh, kept up with that though, because there have been times where I haven't uh, trimmed my ends in years <laughs> and my hair pays for that. You do kind of need to trim every so often, especially if you do a lot of protective styles, a lot of braids and stuff like that, because your ends can get all ratty and tatty like mine are looking. So I think I am going to try to trim a little bit today. But yeah, so now we're going to do a light press. I I'm, don't think I'm going to try to get it super bone straight because I'm afraid of damage. The last time I straightened it, I only let it stay straight for like a day because I was, you know, so anxious to see if it, if it would curl back up because I have damaged my hair before. I've strained it too much. And, you know, there people have different terms for it. Heat trained, whatever. If it's uh, heat trained, that's one thing. But damage is when you can really tell a difference and your hair is breaking and all of that. And that's what I had. So, yeah. Anywho... This is what the flat irons look like. It has a wide plate, which I like. So, yeah. And uh, just your run of the mill. Well, not run of the mill, but just a flat iron. All right, so let's get started. So before I put any heat on my hair, I'm going to get the Silk Therapy Serum and I'm going to use just a small amount. See, just that much. I don't want to use too much because I don't want to, um, you know, put too many products on that will actually make the heat of the flat iron hotter and thus more damaging to my hair. So I'm just going to use a, a little bit. I'm gonna make sure my hair is sectioned nicely. Um, it's better to work in smaller sections because I only want to do one pass or you know at most two passes on each um, you know strand or section of hair. So I'm going to uh, just clip out of the uh, that front piece out of the way and I'm gonna start in the back. Um, but before I start, look what I have. I have some new friends that I didn't have um, before. <laughs> Those gray strands. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at all. And so I decided to try to use the um, chasing method where you use the comb. I'm not too good at that, but I'm going to try it and see if I can, you know, get it <laughs> any straighter. But again, I only want to do one pass. Oh, and the iron is on the highest temperature. I think it's 410, which isn't uh, super bad because I know some irons can go up to 450. This one goes to 410 and that's what it's on. And again, just one pass is what I'm trying to do. gotten one side done 
and I love the way that the um, comb can just go straight through it I, I, I am I'm pleased it's not super silky straight but that wasn't what I was going for anyway so I'm okay with this And I'm all done and I'm just playing around <laughs> to see what I'm gonna what am I gonna do with my hair now but um, yeah so I'm gonna trim the ends I, I probably should have definitely cut a little bit more but uh, I didn't want to so I'm just gonna try to knock the dust <laughs> off the ends I'll probably cut some more uh, just before I put it back into some sort of pro a protective style but as you can see the ends are you know they you can see through them and so <laughs> I need to, you know, really trim those pretty good um, and uh, knock those out of the way. And uh, if you guys remember, I told you that once, uh, there was one time that I, when I was taking down some braids or some locks or something, I accidentally cut my hair. I cut about two inches off and so I, I evened it all up. <laughs> and so it has grown back from that, but uh, yeah. Now I'm just adding a little bit of this Frizz Ease Serum. It's supposed to help um, with your hair getting frizzy and reverting um, with the humidity. Um, you'll see later, it didn't really help mine <laughs> that much. But yeah, so now I'm just going through and trimming up a little bit more uh, of my hair and just trying to get a few more of those ends off. I am so sorry that I did not get me doing this hairstyle um, I don't know what I was I don't guess I didn't record it but anyway what I did was just come down a little bang um, and some little side pieces and I pulled it all up into um, the rest of it up into a high bun I did add a little bit of hair um, around the base of my ponytail so that I could so that the bun would look nice and full. And then I just combed my hair over that, um, the added hair to make a nice, thick, full bun. I love it. Hey guys, it is me with my little flat iron and I have on this beautiful, remember, do you all remember I told you that there was this lipstick that I used to wear back in the 90s. Me and my niece wore it, and we loved it, baby. We thought we were some 90s queens, okay? It was by Revlon. It was a stick, and it was uh, the color chocolate. This right here is Revlon, but it's a lip, it's an actual lipstick, not a lippy pencil type thing. And the, the name of this hot chocolate, I knew it was the same. I just felt it in my gut that it was the same lipstick, and yes, it is the same lipstick. Isn't this pretty? I love it. Anyway, I'm about to make, I know my camera, ang camera angle is really, really crazy, 
right now, but I'm, I'm having technical difficulties, y'all. It is what it is. Work with me. It's my birthday. Let me show you guys what my husband surprised me with yesterday. Yesterday was Monday. He surprised me, and I mean he got me good because I was not expecting this in any way, shape, or form because I know that we are making plans to uh, go out of town next month. You know, we've both gotten our vaccine, so we're going to give that a chance to kind of work. But anyway, so I wasn't really expecting anything major. But he surprised me so much, it brought me to tears. Let me show you what he got me. Hold on. Can you guys see this? This, oh, they smell so good. He got me these beautiful pink roses in this gray suede box. When I tell you my husband pays attention, pays attention to details, he knows my color that I love. He knows that I love the gray. And he got me a box of forever roses. They are beautiful and I wish you guys could smell them. They smell divine. Look at there. Isn't that beautiful? That's my hoobie. I am so impressed. He, he got me. He got me good. I love this. I love this. But anyway, what I'm about to do is make me a nice coffee. I have a little drop of this here Stoke cold brew coffee left. It expires this month, so I'm going to go ahead and make a nice coffee real quick. I'm going to get my Starbucks cup here. I don't know if you guys can see it. My angle is real crazy. Get my Starbucks cup. Get the right straw because that one does not fit. So basically, all I'm going to do is just put the coffee in here with some ice, a little bit of uh, almond milk, and um, I don't even know if I have any sweetener left, but I'll see. I'll just pour a little bit in there. I might as well get it all. It's only a drop. A little bit of almond milk. Not too much and some sweetener and ice and bam iced coffee for way less than what i would pay at starbucks and yes i still have on my pajama pants and my house shoes hey it happens i have two sweeteners to choose from classic caramel sugar-free or pumpkin spice or if you're like me and you'd like to walk on the wow side if you like me you like to walk on the wow side you do them both a little bit of both in there a little bit of pumpkin spice and a little bit of caramel stir that up really good Perfect. Now all I need to do is put some ice in there. Bam. All done. All right. Yep. All done. So, what are you guys doing today? Yeah, remember, um, I got to show you what I what I got myself for my birthday. I'll show you that. Hold on, I'm gonna get my stuff together. Come on over here, and I'll show you what I got for myself for my birthday. So I picked up a couple of Chanel items. I'm not going to go over them now or do an unboxing because I'm gonna talk about them in uh, some of my later vlogs. Uh, you can check my birthday vlog and uh, the vlog that will be posted on Tuesday, which will be some unboxings of some different items that I purchased. But this is just a little snippet of some of the things that I picked up for myself. Um, so, yeah, I said, why not? It's my birthday. Treat yourself.
Good morning, guys. I am headed out. How are you all doing today? I am doing pretty good. I'm headed out trying to, you know, just look cash, trying to put on something that oh, can cover a multitude <laughs> of flaws. But anyway, it's okay. We're getting it together. We're getting it together. We're doing things that... um are good for me and I just have to view this just like I viewed any other task that I was trying to accomplish. My fitness journey is just like that. You know, just because you don't see results the first week or the second week doesn't mean you stop. You keep going. You keep going because one thing about it, if you strive for a goal and you are consistent and you have discipline, you're going to reach it. So, y'all take a good look. This is temporary, honey. I am changing things. I am changing things. So we'll see where I am. We'll see where I am in a month, in two months, in three months, you know, as I keep going, because this is not something that I'm going to stop. My fitness journey is not something that I'm going to stop once I reach a certain goal. No, this is a lifestyle change. I just do it. So I have gotten up, made my bed up, opened up my blinds, turned on the lights, let some sun in. It's not 11 o'clock yet, so it's not time for my first meal. Uh, yeah, I come by and I stare at my flowers <laughs> every morning. They are so beautiful. This suede box, uh, they're by Saya or Saya Rose. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but they're in this beautiful suede box and the roses are beautiful. You can't touch them. They're very specific about the care. So, but they are, they're not, I used to think that the roses like this were dried roses, but they're not dry. They're, they're just, they're like live flowers. Beautiful. And it, this is a box of 25 um, beautiful roses. And y'all, they smell so good. Can you smell them? Can you smell that? They smell so divine <laughs> but yeah those are my roses this is that rug I was telling you about that I just pop in the washer and dryer and it comes out honey perfect it's been washed several times and cleaned so I get to keep it clean and neat hey y'all and I've been trying to wear like this little bang but look at this <laughs> but i'm not cutting it see where my bang goes i trim the ends i'm not cutting it like up here i'm just not doing that so because I'm, i don't wear my hair out enough for me to even want to cut it now one day when i decide you know what i'm through with wigs or protective styles then maybe i'll i'll do that but for right now um i'm just gonna keep tucking it to the side i guess it'll be all right because, you know, it's a bang. The bang. Not the bang. The bang. Oh, 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 oh. Bang, bang. That is the funniest song ever. Not the bang. The bang. Okay, anywho, let's get out. Let's, let's go do a little something, yeah? All right. Maxed up and ready to go.
accomplished but the smaller one is not there supposed to be purging but then you go and buy below what 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 is that about why <laughs> but I didn't really buy anything I bought some stuff for the kids basically something for my grandkids that's it all right let's get out of here let's go this wind is 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 so disrespectful to my my little hairstyle that's Hanging on by a thread. <laughs> this wind. Y'all. That wind. Look at my little. Look at my hair. It is a mess. Look. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten. That when you, because I don't wear my hair out very often, that when you do wear it out, this is what you can expect. When the when it's March and windy, March is the windy month. All right, y'all. I picked up a couple things. I got my outdoor chair. I mean chair. Got my outdoor table that my hubby wanted that has storage. They had a smaller one on Sunday. I should have gotten it Sunday, but wouldn't you know, when I came back, it was gone. 
So I got this one. It's, this one is fine. Maybe we'll find another one because I got to go um, um, to another, over to the, um, going out of, going to get my nails done tomorrow. And there is a um, TJ Maxx near that one. So I'll check and see if they have that other one there because we could use two out there. Oh my goodness. Okay, I guess I'm going to get out of here. Head on. It is 11:35. I am 35 minutes beyond my time for my um, to break my fast. So, what should I break my fast with today? Should I make a salad? Salad sounds good. I do have the fixings for a salad at home, and I could put some of my tuna on it and make it protein rich. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, guys, y'all have something good for to break your fast, too. Something good for lunch or breakfast or whatever time it is. I'll see y'all in a little bit. You know what I'm learning, guys, with this um, trying to vlog and make sure I have footage to um, post? I just got to start recording. Just not recording, like, for a specific event. Just record everything. <laughs> And you know what? I could probably get a couple videos out of that. So that's what I've been doing. I'm just trying to record stuff. Um, you know, just seeing if I can get some exciting footage. So that's what I've been doing. But anyway, let me get off of here because I want to listen to Masego. And I can't do it if I'm filming with this Bluetooth and everything. So yeah, I want to listen to Masego because he, he wrote a song about me. And you guys should listen to it because it's really great. Um, it's called Old Age, but it's definitely not what you think. All right. See ya. Okay, so these are the items that I picked up from Ulta. I got the Changing You Magic Foot Peeling Shoes. I'm going to try these out for uh, those times when I can't make it to get a pedicure. Uh, I also picked up another mascara. I got the Bad Gale Bang um, by Benefit Cosmetics. I love this. It's uh, absolutely wonderful. Of course, it's in the color black. And I also picked up this little mini mascara, the their real magnet um, mascara. I just wanted to try it out. It's supposed to give you great uh, fullness and this is the Revlon pencil in the color chocolate just like the chocolate lipstick that I had on earlier in the video it is such a pretty color I love this brown from TJ Maxx I picked up this seersucker uh, double breasted uh, jacket seersucker is beautiful for spring and summer and this is gonna look really cute with um, white linen pants um, I even have a pair of seersucker uh, slacks that would be nice to wear with this I also got this be mindful journal it's a journal for wellness of body and mind and um, yeah, I'm gonna be using that I picked up some throw pillows and they are actually by the brand throw th are old. Uh, I'm thinking about incorporating this color into my bedroom and so I got this big pillow here um, from TJ Maxx and that's it guys that's it for this video I thank you so much for joining me today I hope you have a great weekend before you go don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video take care Bye.